there was a big cloud on our program in, in the spring. A big cloud because when kids start saying, hey, I'm not going to play, I'm not going to play. All the other kids, you know, it felt pretty futile to try and work on our stuff when they're like, I don't even know if we're going to have a team. You know, I really thought we would have 14 or 15 if we played 11 in football. And so we got 23. It's the right thing for the kids. That is absolutely, we're, we have such renewed energy. Our, we've had the best practices since I've been here have been this year because I think the kids see that opportunity for us to compete. And, and I keep saying again, it's the difference between surviving and thriving. And I think we see our opportunity to thrive. And it creates competition. We have competition for almost every position. And I think that's going to make our practices much, much better. And, and that's going to in turn make us better for Fridays. The difference in six man and 11 man is about the same difference as 11 man in Canadian League football. You're going to show up and you go, yeah, that's football. I recognize it. Fundamentals, we hadn't changed a bit. Blocking, still blocking. Tackling, still tackling. We were playing chess. And when you look at a chess board, you know what moves the king can make, the queen can make, the rook can make, the, the pawns can make. Well, in six man, everybody's a queen. They can go any direction at any time. And so that's different because, you know, when you're looking and go, hey, this guy can't go out for a pass. He's either going to block down or block out. We react off that. Well, now everybody is a queen. Everybody can go out for a pass and move in any direction and carry the ball. I'm intrigued by the by the challenge of getting us ready to play that. Here's what we got to do better. We got to quit being the old bear that unless everything goes perfectly, okay, we're not happy. Things go bad, and then we turn we we turn into the worst player possible. We cannot do that. You have to let us coach you. All right, put a smile on your face. We'll see you Monday. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! We talked about burn the boats. And I tell you, when it really struck home is when, when I was reading reading up on the story about burning the boats and, and some motivational material. And it wasn't necessarily what I was reading about uh, teams. It was you need to burn the boats in your personal life if you want to make a change. And things like, uh, all right, you want to lose some weight? All right, burn your boats and walk away. Change your life. Go in a different direction, and you can do that. And so that's kind of that's kind of the angle that we've taken. And you know, when I first got here last year, we talked about, hey, you want to do things the way we've done it, or you want to do things differently. And I said, if you want to do things the way we've done it, you're going to get the same results. And there's no championship banners for football hanging in the in 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 this gym in here. And we we got some trophies, but we don't have a whole lot of trophies. Play for the Mustangs. Just run hard through this. That third down is still about 12 or 13 for the back. Go! Neil, once again, call the city. Hey! Hey! Spur is supposed to be really good. Uh, we've seen them on video already in a scrimmage, so they got some big boys and they can run.
Light takes the snap and looks to pass. And Nate Deal in the secondary with the interception. And Dayton is going to take it on into the end zone for a bad touchdown. We had to kind of take what we could get, and I think McLean was one of the first calls that I got. He's like, Coach, we'll come to you because nobody wanted to play him. And I was dumb enough to say, okay, we'll play you if you'll come down here. He'll take the snap and hands off to number 22, Ryan Roger. Go, boy, go! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I'll tell you the same thing I told you after the Spur game. I'd rather play a team like this than some of those other teams we played. Uh, Erie County has been playing some pretty good football. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I know that they had a guy, a state triple jumper, that hadn't played football in two years. He came back out. They got several more people that come back out, and that's the, really the next big game we have. Yes, yeah? we need to take care of business. So, you think Erie County is going to want this film? You think they're going to watch this film and try to do some of the things they did? Yes. Hey, in general, I'm proud of us. I want a little more. I hope you want a little more. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I think it's going to take a little more than what we did today to be holding a big trophy at the end of the year. Like those guys may be holding a big trophy at the end of the year. You with me? on, hey, tell us about this play, how you run this play, you know, and that's, the, the, to me, then you have a program. Right now, we still have a team. It's a team we're proud of, a team that's going to represent our community well, but I won't say we have a program, and we need to get some gold balls to go with that. We start collecting some gold balls, that'll also kind of make a statement that we're a program and not.